Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome to the let's play of Spyro the Dragon. As you can see, I've just gotten my copy of Spyro Reignited Trilogy. It has all three games from the Spyro franchise and sadly to say I've only played two of them. So <laughs> we're gonna dive back down into nostalgia right here with the very first game Spyro the Dragon. Um, I have not touched the game at all and well basically I did load up the game just to get through to having the save file selected. Do this so you can see the three different games we're gonna do the very first one as i mentioned uh yeah so it's been years since i played this i've only played this back when it was on the playstation one when i was still a student and i don't really recall much of it back then except the fact that i've spent a lot of hours trying to complete the game and i mean complete the game so <laughs> yeah so collecting all the in-game stuff. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Like I've got some things to do. <laughs> All right, so here we are in the game. Um, loving how they remade everything, looking so colorful and spunky and sharp. Unlike the PS1 era, uh, everything was very blocky, but it was it was the graphic of its time, and it was very good back then. I still remember the first time when I played it; I was awed by the graphics. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him! Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Alright, so let's go hunt for more dragons. Oh look, it's Tinkerbell. Well, I guess all fairies look alike. <laughs> Hello! Don't run away! Come back here! Um... Okay, so how do I attack? Let's see. A square is dash. Oh. Okay, not dash. Hit bash. Um, let's see. Circle is flames. Triangle is to... Ooh. Okay. Uh, L1 rolling. R1 also rolling. Left and right. That's pretty cool. Uh, R2 is flames as well. Okay, so I guess R2 is more for the first person shooter players out there. Uh, R... L2 doesn't have anything except for, I guess, changing the camera to where you want to look at when your character is facing. It's pretty awesome. Nice. Oh! Oh, it opened a door! Okay. Save the other buddy here. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? 
Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Okay, so our dragonfly has a name. I didn't know that. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Come back here. <laughs> so we do have a hedge maze. Oh, oh, there's a portal here. What is this? Oh, it's alive! <laughs> so adorable. But I gotta kill you. So much magic in the land. Um, okay, I guess we can handle that portal first that we saw here. Duck. Duck hollow? Is this the loading screen? Cool. We have an interactive loading screen. Nice. I gotta say, the soundtrack doesn't seem familiar to me. Oh. <laughs> Accidentally killed him. <laughs> um, yeah, the soundtrack doesn't sound very familiar to me. I don't recall playing the original Spyro and hearing such music. Whoa, what? How do we get rid of you? Ah, okay. Hmm, so the metal shield blocks fire? Okay, so if the shield isn't down, you can actually burn him to death. Uh, that's pretty interesting. So you need to know your means of killing your enemies. Okay, so the only way to kill this fella is by burning his ass. Feel the heat! Where in the world is this? It's like some secret cave. Uh, okay, let's get all the gems first. There's a key here. I don't know what's it for. So, jumping and holding it is glides. Uh, it's good to know. Yeah. Wanna know a secret? Use the action button when you wanna zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Not much of a secret since I found it out myself. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get out of this room because there's nothing else here. Wait, unless... No, there's nothing else here. Okay. Almost missed that box. There's gonna be a little bit more observant in case we miss out anything. So, if you guys aren't familiar with Spyro, Spyro is a platforming game. Ow! Take that! Oh, gigantic piece of meat. So yeah, platforming game with uh, a lot of collectibles, just like Crash Bandicoot. So a lot of these games all came from the same era, like Crash. Um, so yeah. How do we get up there? Any way to glide up there? Huh. Okay, so we have to platform here. Very nice. Oh, so that's what the key is for. Okay. Ooh. 
Alright, glide over. Oh, got squished. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Uh, thanks for the hint, but I kind of found out about that myself. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if we can actually get to the other locations from this height. Um, let's find out. Definitely not. So how do we get... Hmm, maybe it's a skill that we might get in the future. A campfire here. Does it do anything? Light my fire! Woo! Okay, so I guess it's here that we access those areas. Take that, take that. What about you? Okay, it's a flame to that person. The graphics, the lighting is fantastic, I gotta say. Very, very colorful universe compared to the old Spiral game. Big enemies like this Nork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. Right, so three interactive tutorial stages. Um, that's part of the first world. Anyway guys, this is the first of my Let's Play series that is being captured by the Elgato HD60S. So previously all my gameplays were all recorded off the PS4 share, um, which had some problems because of the microphone attachment to the uh, PS4 controller. I had some really distorted sounds and that really made the experience for PlayStation Spider-Man a bit um, disturbing so yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy the new quality that I can provide with the new capture card uh, oh, okay so the balloon guy is over there we don't need to get to him yet because we don't have hand dragons and uh, yeah so saying uh, do let me know in the comments below um, if the quality is to your standard of liking I guess um, I do plan to try and have my face recorded for gameplay in the future um, but as of now, right now, I do not have a proper camera What in the world is that? <laughs> oh, it's a naked sheep <laughs> Okay, I just realised it uh, Yeah, I don't have a proper camera to do uh, face cam recording as of yet I'm still trying to figure out how to attach my Sony um, 4K camera to, to do recording for... yeah gameplay purposes so just hold on until then but for now uh yeah i'm pretty digging the new capture card and its capabilities okay let's uh chase after this fella how many times do we have to bang in one more i guess there we go Pick up all the gems. So I wonder what the fairies are zapping me with. Okay, let's see. Is that we do have this portal here that we can get into. Stone Hill.
do let me know if the audio for the game is a bit too loud or if you can't hear my voice. Uh, I do need to do some adjustments to the recording settings and all that, so still getting used to it. Um, hopefully things will stabilize out throughout uh, the years to come. Come here, come here, GP. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Naked sheep. Whoa, you're a big boy. What's down here? Oh, hidden secrets. <laughs> okay, I guess we need a key for that one. Um, I would have liked to actually get my dragon brother out of his prison hole. Uh, Same free. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. Okay, so that kind of explains the um, munching of butterflies when a sheep is killed, you know, so, hmm. Okay, so let's take a look around, there are quite a few entrances here and there. Make sure we don't miss out on the gems. Okay, let's start with this one first. Uh, the map seems to be pretty big. You gotta be sharp with. I mean, you gotta stay focused. Make sure you don't miss out on any of the goods. This game is one of the games that you completionists out there would definitely want to try and hundred percent. Uh, I too myself would like to try and 100% this like I did back then on the PlayStation 1 era. Um, so yeah, um, it might take a while. That's probably one of the reasons why I spent so much time on this game in the olden days. Roast the sheep! Roast them! So the sheep doesn't actually give you gems, so I think let's let's let them live a bit longer for now. <laughs> oh hello! Spyro, my friend! How about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Okay, thanks for the tip again, um, but I kind of figured that out myself earlier. <laughs> so yeah, um, tutorials through stages, that's pretty creative. At least you don't feel very bored um, going through all these stages without an objective. Um, yeah. So we can get to home directly from here, but I think that's gonna make us miss out on a lot of stuff. Uh, so let's just traverse through the map, the kingdom. You know, hopefully we don't miss out on stuff. What is this? Oh, magic pillars. Hmm. Okay, anything here? Except gems? Seriously, nothing? Whoa! This area is huge! Hopefully we didn't miss out on anything. I 
think we went one big round already, so... Um, yeah, this is where we came up from. Okay. Is there anything else in this area? Oh look! What are you? Come here! Come back here! Come on! Get here! We are almost there! Almost got him! Yeah, there we go! An egg? Huh. Why do we need an egg? So I guess we kind of obtain an unlock uh, collectible without knowing. Uh, nothing here. Okay. Um, I guess we're done with this area. Let's move on. The dash, the ramming button is pretty useful in terms of traveling around. Um, let's see, is there another area that we can go through? Yeah, we can go through the smaller gates first. Let's handle the small gates before we handle the big one. Pretty cool. Alright, all the gems are collected. Let's set our boy free. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Okay, that explains the zapping of the fairies. There you go. So we got our game saved. <laughs> Alright, so off to the big gates now. I guess there really isn't anything else here. Wait, did we get a key for this area? I don't know, how do we check the key? So everyone else got turned into gems except Spyro, but Spyro is a dragon as well. I don't quite understand the logic of it, but you know. <laughs> After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> that was rude, but I, I can understand why you don't want to listen to him uh, uh, grandfather stories aside though. <laughs> so yeah. Uh Well, we didn't get the key for this place, I think. You know, because our boy is still stuck in the dungeon. Yeah, we don't have the key for this place. How where is the key? Hmm. Let's take a look around again, I suppose. One last round. Keep our eyes peeled for anything shiny. Maybe a higher. Area would help. Do you guys see a shiny golden key? No?
Maybe it's on this castle thing. Oops. Wait, there's a gem here. Is there a way to get up there? Up here? No? Can we climb on this? Okay, so apparently you can't access this area. So where would the key be? I'm gonna give up the chase on the key right now because definitely I do not see the key anywhere you know, I might I it is a platforming game with collectibles so it might need a few runs before I actually get everything so yeah wait there's a portal thing down here oh hidden areas Nice! So maybe this is where the key is. And here it is! <laughs> Such coincidence! Alright, so I guess we can 100% this stage right now. You know, if I didn't see this blue glowing thing here, I probably would have not noticed it at all. Let's dive down and get our brother safe. Sorry, not brother. Chest unlocked. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Hopefully, we have 100% the game. I mean, this level. Uh, we are kind of short on two gems, but I think that's fine. Um, we could probably come back for it another time. Uh, I might do live streams of this game in the future. Um, probably to 100% the game. Uh, speaking of which, I'm, I have actually created a Facebook page for my YouTube channel. So guys, um, if you're interested to watch my live streams and all this in the future, do hit up on my Facebook page. Um, I will leave the link in the description down below. So yeah, I will also update um, on my activities on the Facebook page. Where is the location to I drop down to? Uh, yeah, so let's say for example new video uploads or live streams or maybe if I were to do vlogs and all that kind of thing. Yeah, everything will be up there on the Facebook page for my YouTube channel. So guys, um, do stay in, uh, in, in contact with me through the Facebook page. Uh, and yeah. Alright, we're back here, so let's find the other portals. Hello! Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. <laughs> so awkward. Um, hello. Yeah, so 
Um, it's kind of strange that they have to keep repeating the tutorial portions. Like, um, we do know how to glide already. And, yeah. There we go. So we have to kill all the villains at least once to obtain the gems from them. Uh, yeah. Okay, going up. Town Square. Okay, we'll access you later. Let's collect all the goodies first. Okay, I guess we have to use the flotation magic device later again. Once we grab these, because there is this other box up there. Alright, so we've cleared all the gems from here, and now to do the portal itself. I have to say the loading screen between the two worlds is pretty long but considering the amount of graphical advancements uh, this game has attained uh, through this remastering of the game uh, I think it's pretty decent you know it's fine we've gotten so used to games that have such long loading times to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. I have to say the developers have done an awesome job creating personalities and names for the dragon. Very, very um, interesting and it keeps the game interactive uh, or rather enjoyable. You know, because I, I kind of like the... Why is this thing... Are we supposed to catch the gem? Oh, okay. So yeah, even the boxes are very creative in terms of uh, obtaining certain things. Like, um, same as the enemies, you, you kind of have to destroy them um, with certain attack methods. So yeah, let's uh, glide over here. Um, how do we access those at the top there? Is there any way to climb up? Or do we get like a super jump skill later on? God dang! <laughs> that was an unexpected death. Alright. So yeah, um, after you've killed the enemy once, they do not drop gems anymore. That's why they drop those black orb things. I'm not too sure what those are for. So yeah, I wish we could jump higher. Like super jump in the future. I guess we have to come back to the stages to collect everything 100% in the future. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Well, I guess we kind of knew. I mean, that's how gliding mechanism works, right? Even back in the days when playing Sonic and Knuckles, it was pretty much the same thing, I suppose. Huh. Okay. Um, platforming, platforming. Chickens! Roasted chicken. Okay, we can jump up here. 
but it doesn't seem to lead to anywhere. Oh wait, maybe I could use it to glide over to the other side? Hey wait, I see that egg thief. Oh, okay, so it's supposed to glide across. Wow, this is gonna be difficult. Um, let's do this properly. Oh no! So difficult, how do we do it? Or do we need actually a super jump to gain the best possible height? Okay, we're gonna skip this for now. We'll come back to it next time. Let's grab all the gems first. in blue running around here? He's a thief and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little wind. All right, there is another statue up there though. Uh, I guess we can use the fountain. No, no fountain. Why? How do you even get up there? Seriously, the design of this area is what uh, baffling to me. Never mind. Alright, let's move on to the next portal. Oh! <laughs> uh, we've been through here. Making, making sure I've slain all of them at least once. There we go. We have that one over there. Um, I guess we can give it a try. Sunny flight. Hmm. Oh, it's a flying stage. Cool. I kind of remember stages like these. I, these were pretty fun. Okay, we gotta flame them. Oh, we can actually destroy the trains. Uh, that's pretty cool. Wait. There is a timer as well. Oh my goodness. Oh, we can actually run instead of fly. Oh, wow! So we don't. We have to do this multiple times. Okay, so this is definitely a stage that I will come back and do it on a live stream. So guys, uh, do follow my Facebook page, and yeah, we will get back to this in the future. But for now, let's just move on to the main portals, I guess.
Oh! <laughs> Okay, so how many dragons have we gotten? We've got 3, 4, 7, 10, we've got 13, okay. Um, I guess we can move on to the next area. So where is that balloon guy again? One of these. Okay, it's not here. So it's another corridor. Oh. I think if I recall, it's near the maze. Yeah, should be this one. Alright, we're here just checking to make sure. Wow! I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I definitely would like to. <laughs> we just stole his hot air balloon. <laughs> Alright, we're here! A new area. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it! I kinda wonder where they teleport to after we rescued them. Okay, so these guys have spears and they don't see Whoa cannons! <laughs> and they, they don't seem afraid to attack us, so definitely a whole new level uh, compared to the first area, which was the tutorial section. Wait what we can Oh we can use the cannons! That's pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if we can actually use it to unlock stuff. Huh, how about here? It's like a poison lake. I guess we need to glide into that. Hmm. Okay, we have our first portal over here. I guess we can tackle that dry canyon. Alright, let's do this. I'm wondering how big of a game this is. Um, I remember the first game wasn't that um, enormous in terms of world size. Um, but, you know, because the. I remember re completing Spiral the Dragon on the PS1 um, three times. Um, yeah, so I only completed the entire game once. In terms of full collection. What is this? Jump on it? What is this supposed to be? Is there a way to... Oh, cool! I see! <laughs> Hidden areas. Hey, look, it's the egg guy. I'm gonna chase him. Come back here. Come back here. I'm gonna take the shortest path possible. Oh, dang, the cactus. Um. Jump and catch? Okay. Let's 
go after him. I want the egg. There we go. Oh, got hit. Whoa! Okay, so we've been running around this area um, frantically trying to get the dragon egg. Hopefully we didn't miss anything important. Conan! What? Huh? Oh! Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Huh. The first polite dragon ever. Okay, so let's see. Vouchers? I guess we blow him with flames. <laughs> Their death animations are pretty hilarious. There's something up there. Um... Oh shit! Okay. Gotta be observant with our surroundings. Ooh, hidden area. A lot of enemies. Let's get rid of this guy first. Okay, there's a life up there, but how do we get it? Okay, there's a pathway here. So the, the game isn't exactly very big in terms of world size but because of the amount of exploring you have to do, it can get pretty tedious. Well that's platforming for you in the olden days. Um, let's see, where am I supposed to go again? Okay there's a chest there, box of fireworks. Was this for? Whoa! Okay, I didn't know you would take damage from it. But, uh, well, that's all part of the gaming learning experience, I suppose. Wait, where's my dragon fly buddy? Huh. So I guess if you die a certain amount of times. Whoa! Um, yeah, you you lose your dragon. Okay, I think the dragonfly is actually your life indicator. I don't think we can actually reach it from here. Is there a way to get back my life? Hmm. Okay, so I can fly over there. Okay, not with this platform. So probably from this one. Um, where is it again? There it is. There we go. Oh, 
there's a room in here. Cool. Almost missed out on it. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh, you've known... Ah, uh, I forget. <laughs> He's getting old. So, some hidden law behind Spyro's um, being, I guess? Okay, I'm thinking we should leave that mm, place untouched till we get gotten the key. Um, so we'll get back to it later on, I guess. Alright, but for now, let's... Uh, I need my Dragonfly buddy back. So let's see how we can actually get them back. Oh dang! Oh, okay. I thought I couldn't reach for it. Have we been down there before? Rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> I thought dragons fly, but well, never mind. Okay, so we could glide into that area. So yeah, even though the map is not exactly huge, but like I said, there are many layers to it. Uh, there's gotta be... Observant? Okay. Here's something bouncing. Oh, rabbits! Yay, we've got our dragonfly buddy back. So I guess the color of the dragonfly resembles our life. Wait. Oh, we've been to this area before. Okay. Is there no shortcut to get back to where we were? Dang, do I have to really travel all the way back up there? So yeah, this is the pain of a platforming game. Oh no! Round and round we go. So I remember playing Spyro and having to like dash around the whole world, you know, continuously in one one press of a button. So 
this I'm so I I'm I'm kind of glad that it didn't change from you know too much. But it's kind of annoying that we have to do it all over again. So how do we get up there? Oh the key is there! How do we get up there? Can we can we make use of this? To glide to the top of that? Apparently not. Is there a way to get up there? I really really want to get the key. Oh man! Is there no way? Or do we really have to get a super jump in the future to get up there? Anyways, let's move on. I'm getting out of this world. We've been here for too long. Alright, so we've settled the first portal here in this new area. Okay. Haha, <laughs> they have tents! Can you imagine if, like, we blew the tents up in flames and then they were, like, taking a dump underneath it? That would be so hilarious. What is this? Okay, Cliff Town. Um, I'm gonna leave the episode here. We're gonna continue again in the next adventure of Spyro the Dragon. Uh, we're starting off with Cliff Town from here, I guess. Um, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoy the quality and the content of the current style of my Let's Plays, uh, especially since I'm using the Elgato HD 60S right now to capture all my PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch console games in the future. Um, in the past, I recorded my PS4 gameplays all with the PS4 share system, so it kind of had very bad sound quality due to the earphones for the Sony PlayStation being a bit wonky, um, especially since I connected it to my uh, game controller you know, just to avoid recording double audio from the gameplay. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next adventure of Spyro the Dragon. Until then, bye!